Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Sunday, April 7th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. The models are quite impressive. Historic snowstorm on the GFS models, 24 to 32 inches showing up in southern Minnesota. Western Wisconsin and South Dakota is not out of the woods. Neither is northern Nebraska. It's looking like Alaska in April. Stick with us. Highway 50 reopened after snow slide closure. Judge Judy over here pointing it out on the map. Caltrans reports Highway 50 is open again. That slide must be cleared. Heads up. This is no typo. Snow is forecast Wednesday, 7 to 8 inches in northern Wisconsin. Half inch possible in Milwaukee. Whoever put their snow shovels and ice scrapers away, it was too soon. Three weeks after the official start of spring, snow is forecast Wednesday in Wisconsin with 7 to 8 inches possible in the top half of the state, while the metro Milwaukee area could get a dusting to a half inch. These models will change. And they are certainly under-reporting on a potential snow event this week could crush your spirit, Minneapolis. A lot of jokes were made roughly at the same time this year. But this is, uh, it's a wrap, kids. The snow is coming and the storm's name is Zyler. And if you Google that, you won't find one article. Western U.S. storm to lash deserts with wind and unload snow on Rocky Mountains Tuesday into Wednesday. Click the video to see a trampoline fly away. As a potent storm begins to cross the U.S., strong winds will get kicked up across the desert southwest as snow returns to the intermontane west Tuesday into, into Wednesday. Dramatic changes are on the way for many across the desert southwest and southern Rockies. You're going to be moist in Oregon, uh, to say the least. Snow in the higher elevations, including Idaho. Damaging winds may buffet the coast and communities just east of the Cascades. Monday night into Wednesday, adverse and disruptive weather will shift over more of the west with strong winds targeting the desert southwest and snow proving to be a double-edged sword in the Rocky Mountains. Holy macaroni! Here's your wind report Tuesday. Blowing dust, sporadic power outages, dangerous crosswinds. Keep your cigarette butts in the car. Minor damage expected. Las Vegas. Yeah, you're the bullseye. The gusty weather will extend as far south as Phoenix, Yuma, and Tucson. That's Tucson for the, those of you that are listening. Arizona. Midweek storm to plow through central U.S. with snow, rain, and strong winds and severe storms. Whew. My satellite loop is missing. Major storm Wednesday, damaging winds, flooding rain, blizzard conditions, travel disruptions. From west to east, it's the beast. And it's April. Buxatoni Phil will be buried. Depending on the exact track of the storm, snow could extend as far south as Kansas. Where's Toto? North Dakota may miss the brunt of the storm. Whew. But it looks like Minnesota. Ho! Oh! Snowfall potential Wednesday through Thursday night. AccuWeather max 24 inches on the plains. It's insane. Yeah, that's where farming occurs. Snow may streak well ahead of the main storm center along a narrow swath in the Great Lakes at midweek. AccuWeather meteorologist Randy Atkins said motorists with plans to travel along stretches of Interstate 29, 35, 80, 90, and 94 should be mindful of the fact that snowy, slippery, and difficult travel can impact a portion of their journey. Look at the shape of this baby. It's like a brain. It's like the brain stem. Hold. At this point of the year, snow must fall at a fast pace enough during the daylight hours in order to stick. And are you going to stick it? We'll see. I cannot believe a blizzard is setting up in mid-April. I do not accept. Spring storm to dump five inches of snow over Banger. Heads up, Maine. A significant storm moving into Maine overnight could bring heavy snow to parts of the state in time for the morning commute. The National Weather Service has placed central and northern Maine on alert, as well as the western mountains. Winter storm warnings remain in effect from Monday to Monday morning. Travel could be very difficult. We're getting to the models. Snow, rain, thunderstorms, and flooding in the forecast for East Idaho. What the f is going on? 
National Weather Service April showers bring flash flood watch to Northwest Oregon, Columbia Gorge through Monday. Which is going to be your fun day. Snow, flooding, river peaking. Well, do, do, what did I just say? Portland, Oregon, a spring storm is bringing some heavy April showers of powers to the pack northwest. Prompting a flash flood watch through Monday evening for parts of western Oregon. Forecasters say Sunday to parts of the river. Parts of the region have already seen one to four inches. That's going to bring these rivers up and up and up. And they may even peak sometime here Monday. Whew. Right there. Look at that. Maybe Tuesday. Tuesday could be your lose day in the Pacific Northwest. Keep an eye on those rivers. Look at the models. Holy sh... Just bring it through your next 48 hours. You can see that heavy swath of snow hitting Maine. But it's going to continue during the day and into Wednesday. So by Wednesday, Maine will be buried. And that is when this blizzard sets up. Tuesday into Wednesday. So at Wednesday morning, the snow is going to start to spread east from the Rockies after the Rockies get pummeled. We're talking western Montana, central Idaho, the high Cascades, the high central Sierras. Northern Nevada picking up on, and Utah even picking up a considerable amount of snow. Western Wyoming. And even uh, the high elevations here picking up four to six in some areas. And then that storm moves east. Zyler. The totals here are quite impressive, showing 24 or more, up to 36 inches in this swath. And you show the other predictions I saw showed a more easterly track. Regardless, 22, 16, 20, 19, 13, 10, 11. Whew. That's a mid-April boom. Seismic update, huge uptick in moderate earthquakes worldwide, multiple 6.0s, mo dozens of 5.0s, most recent Andaman Islands, India region, heads up, you're in the danger zone. Now what we really have to worry about it is that the phi angle has shifted and it's coming sun to earth. When it gets down to this middle region, we're in seismic Warning zone. Plasma density is increasing and the speed is quite high. We're around 420. Which isn't funny because we have a sunspot turning around the limb. Quite a significant new active region 2738 continues to rotate, rotate back into view. And it is quite impressive. Look at the power there. Hours of power. Not only that, if we come over to GOES X-ray flux, we may be fluxed. Let's take a look at the five-minute data or the one-minute data or whatever data that actually loads. Boom! So we're already in the B range continuously for hours. That is a lot of activity there. A lot of intensity. So we have some B flares and we have activity coming up in the B range and staying there. So the chance of this shooting up to C and M are quite high if it flares out. So very powerful sunspot turning around the limb and still displaying this much power. We're going to keep our eye on it. We have seven days until it's Earth-facing. Solar experts predict the sun's activity in solar cycle 25 to be below average, similar to 24. So they're not saying it's higher than 24 now. They're saying it's below average and similar to 24. Hmm, I wonder if they're hedging their bets. Five G threat. New five G phone system could face reception problems from trees with too many leaves. Wow, what a threat! That sounds like a threat to my five G. Plant more trees and five G now. There's so much CO two in the atmosphere that planting trees can no longer save us. When whoever said that it would save us? What the huge haul of mummified animals uncovered at 2,000-year-old Egyptian tomb. Very creepy and interesting. Read the article. It's not a short article. But I will go back to this article. There is so much CO2 in the atmosphere that planting trees can no longer save us. Whoever said that planting trees would save us? And not only that, the rising CO2 is greening the forest, so the forests are greening themselves. 
This begins as a article and ends as one because it does not contain a any actual information. Simply jargon, lies, and dogma. There isn't enough space on earth to plant the amount of trees it would take to save us. Man, someone needs to sit these people down and tell them that humans do not affect the climate and they certainly can't tax people to change an atmospheric gas that is less than 1% and the climate will be saved. I mean, how can they believe that? Well, they could believe anything. Suspected rhino poacher killed by elephant and then eaten by lions. Well, thank God something happy happened today. Marijuana smoking linked with higher sperm concentrations. Whew. Thank God. Read the article. I'm quite pleased. And remember we announced weeks ago that the first photos of a black hole would be released? Weeks ago? They still have not been released. First photos of a black hole event horizon. Now it's a black hole's event horizon. So we were going to see a photo of a black hole. Now we're going to see a photo of the event horizon. And it might be a few days. Or something like that. Nobody knows. <laughs> but they certainly know how to... Um, Here's the art artist's rendering of absolutely nothing. Amazing. We're about to see an invisible black hole of x-rays. It'll be amazing. LeakCon 2019. Not logging in. LeakCon 2019 live stream is live. If you guys want access, full access to the live stream, this is going to be access that no one else has. So... We're going to have 420 Ransom Freedom as Films live streaming the actual conference as it occurs. He's going to be in the crowd, in the exhibit hall, in and out of talks. We will live stream some of the talks live, but because there are so many things going on simultaneously, what you will have access to is all of the talks uploaded in a timely manner to access after the event as long as you want, whenever you want. Not only that, we'll be live streaming from the event for three days, starting Friday night, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday. Should be fun. You can come, pop in, check out what's going on, check out who DJ, uh, DJ Ransom, 420 Freedomist Films, is interviewing. We have a lot of great guests that are going to be in the exhibit hall, and we're definitely going to want to interview hundreds of people that come to LeeCon to get their point of view and see why they're there. If you want tickets, get your virtual ticket now, $24.99. 39 days, 21 hours, 33 minutes to the event of 2019. Are you going? I'm going. I swear. I don't want to log in. Not now. Uh, one more announcement. The free natural building webinar. Ilosha has mailed us this morning, Sunday, the first lesson. Go watch it. Check your email. And that's a boom. Hope you got something out of the video. It's April, and these are the models. Don't be scared. Be prepared. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance in a grand solar minimum. Cycle 25 is predicted to be weak at best. The mainstream is matching it to 24. So these conditions are going to continue to get worse because the magnetosphere is going to continue to wane. Cosmic rays will continue to increase, and the sun's output will continue to decrease. Are you ready? Are you picking it up? I just put it down. Subscribe to our channel. Share this with like-minded people. Buy the virtual ticket to LeeCon. And be safe. We love you. That's a boom.